Many individuals harbor a deep-seated fear of being possessed by the devil, a concept that has haunted human imagination for centuries. This anxiety often stems from a combination of cultural, religious, and psychological factors, as well as tales of demonic possession that have been passed down through generations. Despite the pervasive nature of this fear, people continue to grapple with the question of the devil's existence, vacillating between skepticism and belief. They seek answers in ancient scriptures, modern-day accounts, and scientific explanations, but the enigma of the devil's reality remains a profound and unsettling mystery for many. Our Lady has made a remarkable revelation, disclosing that a man is residing in America who has been under the grip of demonic possession for an astonishingly long period. This unfortunate individual has endured the torment of possession for precisely 21 years, underscoring the severity and persistence of his plight. Shrouded in mystery and fear, the man's ordeal highlights the ongoing struggle between good and evil and the profound impact of supernatural forces on human lives. This revelation from Our Lady adds a poignant and chilling dimension to the ongoing discourse about the existence and influence of the devil in the modern world. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. A man lived a famous life in the heart of a quiet American suburb. From the outside, his existence seemed unremarkable, he had a steady job, a modest home, and a circle of friends who saw him as kind but reserved. However, this man harbored a dark secret that gnawed at his soul every night, for over 21 years, he had been possessed by the devil in his sleep. The nightmare began when this man was young, freshly graduated from college, and eager to start his career. One night, he experienced a vivid, terrifying dream in which a dark figure appeared at the foot of his bed. The figure's eyes burned with an unnatural fire, and its presence filled the room with an oppressive sense of dread. He awoke drenched in sweat, his heart pounding, but dismissed it as a mere nightmare. However, the dreams continued, growing more intense and sinister with each passing night. The dark figure began to speak, its voice a chilling whisper that echoed in his mind even after he awoke. It taunted him, revealing secrets about his life that no one else could know. His sleep became a battleground, his mind a haunted realm where he was tormented by the devil's presence. As the years passed, his torment took a toll on his health and sanity. He sought help from doctors, therapists, and even spiritual advisors, but no one could provide a satisfactory explanation or solution. His friends and family noticed the changes in him, the dark circles under his eyes, the constant fatigue, and the haunted look that never seemed to leave his face. Despite their concern, he could not bring himself to reveal the full extent of his nightly horrors. One evening, Desperate for relief, he visited a renowned exorcist named Father Michael. The priest listened to his story with a grave expression, his brow furrowed in concern. After a long pause, Father Michael spoke. What you are experiencing is not merely a psychological condition. It is a spiritual battle. The devil has chosen you as his target, and you must fight back with faith and determination. With Father Michael's guidance, he began a rigorous regimen of prayer, meditation, and spiritual cleansing. The exorcist performed several rituals in his home, blessing every room and casting out any lingering malevolent spirits. For the first time in years, he felt a glimmer of hope. The struggle was far from over. The devil did not relinquish its hold on him easily. The dreams became more violent 
and the dark figure grew more desperate and furious. But he, armed with his newfound faith and the support of Father Michael, stood firm. He recited prayers even in his sleep, calling upon the Divine to protect him and drive the evil away. After many months of relentless effort, his nightmares began to wane. The dark figure appeared less frequently, its power over him weakening with each passing night. One morning, he awoke with a sense of profound peace, realizing that the devil's grip on his soul had finally been broken. The ordeal had changed him forever. He emerged from the 21-year nightmare with a deeper understanding of the spiritual world and a newfound strength that surprised even himself. He dedicated his life to helping others who faced similar battles, becoming a beacon of hope for those tormented by unseen forces. His story spread throughout the community, a testament to the power of faith and resilience in the face of unimaginable evil. Though the scars of his experience remained, he found solace in the knowledge that he had triumphed over the darkness, emerging stronger and more compassionate than ever before. This man is a renowned figure in America, known across the country for his accomplishments and public persona. Despite his fame and success, whispers and speculation have long surrounded him. Many believe that he made a pact with the devil, trading his soul for something he deeply desired. The rumors are persistent and varied, painting a picture of a man who gained his extraordinary talents and fortune through dark and supernatural means. His rise to prominence was meteoric and seemingly inexplicable. From an early age, he displayed a level of skill and charisma that set him apart from his peers. His achievements in his field, whether it be in entertainment, business, or politics, seemed almost otherworldly, leading to further speculation about the true source of his success. People began to notice strange occurrences around him. Colleagues and acquaintances spoke of eerie coincidences, unexplained phenomena, and an unsettling aura that seemed to follow him. Some claimed to have seen his eyes flash with an unnatural fire or heard him speak in tongues during moments of intense emotion. These accounts, though often dismissed as fabrications or exaggerations, fueled the rumors and added to his enigmatic reputation. Despite his public denials and efforts to dispel the rumors, the stories persisted. They became a part of his legend, a shadow that clung to him no matter how high he climbed. Some saw him as a tragic figure, a man who had sacrificed his soul for fleeting glory. Others viewed him with suspicion and fear, convinced that he wielded dark powers that gave him an unfair advantage over mere mortals. His personal life was equally shrouded in mystery. He rarely spoke about his past, and those who knew him best remained tight-lipped about his origins. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.